Now let's talk a little bit more about how we can manage PHP versions. I'm going to open up this project in PHP Storm. And then let's open up file with roads web.php. And in here I'm going to add another road with the path PHP info. And this road is basically going to print out information about PHP version used for this site. And to get information about current PHP interpreter, we can execute default function called php info, like so. So now let's open up this road in the browser. I'll reference php info pass, and as we can see, we got the information about current php interpreter, and the current version of php used by this site is 8.3, which matches my current global version of php used in the system. As we can see, global version of PHP is also 8.3. We can change this version from within control panel of Herd, or we can do it from within the terminal. Let's do it via terminal this time. To change PHP version, we have to run Herd, Use, and specify PHP version that we'd like to use. In this case, I'll choose 8.2. And there we go, global PHP version was changed, as well as PHP version used for this website. After refreshing the page, we can see that PHP version is now 8.2. Because currently this website uses version of PHP that is used globally in operating system. But we could easily choose particular PHP version that has to be used for a particular website. We can do so by using this list in Hertz control panel. And by the way, to quickly open up particular website in the browser, we can use this icon. So now as we can see the website uses version of PHP 8.3, but the global version of PHP used in the operating system is still 8.2. And to see which websites managed by Laravel Herd use which versions of PHP, we can run Herd isolated. So currently in the system I have a couple of projects managed by Herd, and one of them, which is Laravel Herd, which is our current project, uses version of PHP 8.3. But just because my current global version of PHP used in the operating system is 8.2, after running herd unisolate, this current project will use default version of PHP used in operating system, which is 8.2. So now I have only one project in the system managed by herd, which uses specific version of PHP, and other projects use version of PHP used globally in operating system. And to make particular project use specific version of PHP, we can run herd isolate and specify version of PHP that we like to use in this project. And after running herd isolated, we can see that Laravel herd project uses specific version of PHP, which is 8.2. We can also specify a default PHP version that has to be used system wide by using herd utility. Let's run herd use and specify the version which we'd like to make global. So now the global version of PHP, as you can see, is 8.3, but if we'd like to check which version of PHP is currently used in particular project, firstly we have to navigate to the folder with that project and run herd PHP version, like so. And if running PHP via herd, like this. The isolated version of PHP will be used, that one that is currently used inside this project, instead of the global one. And if we don't want any particular PHP version used for a particular project, we just have to run herd unisolate. And this way this project will use default version of PHP, which is used globally in the operating system. And if we would need to modify configuration files of any PHP versions, we can open up the folder where all PHP configuration files are stored by clicking this menu item, Open Configuration Files. And here we can find configuration files for all available PHP versions currently installed in the system. But please note that after modifying php.ini file, we'll have to restart all services. We can do this either by running herd restart in the terminal or by using control panel of herd, here we have to click stop all and then start all services again. But sometimes not all services will be started and as a potential fix to this problem can be 
to force stop all services by holding Option key on macOS and clicking force stop all menu item. And after starting all services again, all of them should be successfully started. So this is how we can manage different PHP versions by using Laravel herd. Let's continue in the next lesson.